dopamine. Hey, my heads, my name is Ray Zade, and TF2 is a lot of funny weapons. Funny game, funny characters, funny weapons. A lot of these weapons aren't necessarily good, but who the hell cares? They're funny. So I wanted to talk about them class by class because we need another TF2 weapon review series out of the 700,000 that we already have. Hey everyone, welcome to my TF2 weapon review where I review every single weapon and say that all of them suck. You can tell I like TF2 because I fucking hate TF2. Today we're taking a look at the Loose Cannon. This weapon shoots and is a weapon, which means that I'll be giving it one cannonball out of 36. Thanks for watching. Make sure to take the subscribe button and lob it off of a building, and then subscribe to my Patreon while I continue to make weapon reviews worse than everyone else, where next week I'll be covering the Huntsman, a weapon that's never been covered, especially not by people who have a YouTube channel named Soundsmith. The first weapon I'll talk about is funny, because it's a funny weapon. This is the Loose Cannon, and I know El Max already made a video about it, but forget about that, shut up. The Loose Cannon is a grenade launcher for Demo Man, you know, the guy who uses grenade launchers, and in my opinion, it's the funniest weapon Demo Man has. This is Demo Man's funny weapon. To sum it up, imagine if instead of grenades, it was cannonballs. That's the Loose Cannon. That basically means it's way cooler than normal grenade launchers. And, as a gamer on social media, if you disagree with my opinion, then it means you're wrong and stupid and I hate you! I'm a reasonable human being, just like the majority of gaming Twitter. Especially if you say that you don't like Red Dead Redemption 2 there, you will definitely not get torn apart by people who don't understand opinions. Anyway, let's talk about the loose cannon stats. First off, cannonballs have a fuse time of one second, which may not make sense, so let me talk about another stat real quick, which is that cannonballs do not explode on impact. So basically, the fuse time is how long it takes for a cannonball to explode. And I guess another thing I should mention is that you can hold left-click to shorten that time, which also means if you hold left-click for too long, the cannonballs just explode in your face. Now this can kinda suck, but think of it this way. You have a way to do another funny explosion death that isn't just pressing your explosion bind key. <laughs> this isn't practical during fights, but it does offer the best benefit a weapon could offer, but we'll get to that later. Your cannonballs also move 20% faster, as well as offering extra pushback on impact. But by far the best feature of this weapon is the dopamine machine. The Double Dog. This is the greatest feature a weapon in TF2 has ever had. People talk about how TikTok and YouTube shorts are just small dopamine releases, but fuck all that shit, double dunk better. So what is the double dunk? Well, basically, if your cannonball explodes after hitting someone, the explosion will deal many crits. It has also been proven by scientists such as Dr. Kleiner that double donks extend your life by five years. Man, I'm gonna be immortal! Unless I was supposed to die tomorrow. So if you don't get what I'm saying, uh, double donks save your life. It's, uh, very true. I'm a simple man. All I need in life is that wacky double donk symbol. Yeah. Now why is the loose cannon the funniest demo man weapon in my opinion? <laughs> because it sucks a little bit. Don't get me wrong, it does some good damage, especially with the gift of god on its side. But being able to accidentally blow yourself up when fighting people can be a pretty big downside. But it's an upside, because it's funny. I'm going to get all of you. But because it's so impractical, it's known as one of Demo's worst primary weapons, which is sad because it means that it'll always be in the shadow of something like the Iron Bomber or hell, even the Stock Launcher. I probably never had as much of a problem with this weapon because I am a medic man, so I've gotten used to the fact that I'll probably get like six kills max in a game. But I've seen the loose cannon discarded and thrown aside in favor of other grenade launchers, even though it offers something that they can't. The fact that it's Demo's funniest weapon. And it just makes me wonder what TF2 would be like if, instead of the stock launcher or the iron bomber, this was the most used demo weapon. Like, imagine a world where everyone used the loose cannon. A world where we were all doing funny shit. A world where we all had the same interests. A world where it would be even more confusing why no one would talk to me. But maybe... We just aren't meant to use funny things. Maybe we should use things that are actually good. But life would be boring like that! Use the cannon, it's funny, who cares about practicality? Of course this video isn't meant to be gospel. If you use the loose cannon because you genuinely like it, then... It's the same! 
I love this weapon, not just because it's funny, even though that is a big reason, but I also find myself doing better with it. And if you don't want to use it, that's okay too. Just ignore the people who come to your house and say that they're part of the International Loose Cannon Association and say that they are taking you in and you will be removed from the face of the earth. That's not important. Don't worry about it, though maybe you should give it a try. Or don't. I don't care. They might though. In the end, this is my favorite demo primary because it's the most fun, which matters way more to me than seeing the kill number tick up on a leaderboard, even though that can be fun and maybe sometimes does directly impact the fun. The loose cannon is the best weapon in the game, but that's enough of me talking about a weapon that causes you to explode for the funny bonus. I do plan on covering each class's funny weapon, but let me clarify that I am not a TF2 YouTuber, and I do not plan to be one right now, at least. I just love TF2 and want to make some content on it every once in a while. Though I know how some creators have fared in the TF2 bubble, and I don't want to be stuck in it. That's it for me. Uh, here's part of the strategy. Another 